Hello and welcome to TRT World. We're live in London. This is the News Hour with me, Adnan Nawaz. Coming up in the next 60 minutes, it's been one week since a large Russian convoy began to redeploy its weaponry around the Ukrainian capital. The fears of what that redeployment meant are now being seen because from new positions, the Russian military can fire almost at will. For the past few days, Kiev has been regularly shelled, and this is the latest damage. A multi-story shopping mall gutted, at least eight people killed, many more terrorized. Almost since the start of the invasion, which was the 24th of last month, the southern port of Mariupol has been besieged. The EU says what's happening there is a war crime as Russia keeps 300,000 people trapped. Kiev says it's a medieval tactic and refuses an offer to bring relief to residents. To do so, Ukraine would have to surrender the city. The most important agreements have finalized the Nord Stream 2 pipeline were signed after Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea. That was 2014. Bringing natural gas to Germany from Russia there are those who say Berlin and indeed much of the EU miscalculated that it should never have become so reliant on Russian energy. The bloc is now trying to work out how to sanction that sector without hurting itself. And in other news, the US government has designated military operations against Myanmar's Rohingya Muslims a genocide. It says since 2017, the Asian nation's armed forces have shown a clear intent to destroy the group. Ninety percent of the Ukrainian city of Mariupol is destroyed. There's obviously a global economic impact of what's happening in Ukraine. Oil prices are climbing again at the start of the week. Ludovica Brignola has the business. Oil prices spiked more than 3% as the European Union mulls a potential ban on Russian crude shipments as a consequence for its attack in Ukraine. And that's all from business for now. Still to come on the news hour, she says she should have been home six years ago. The British Iranian Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe speaks to the media for the first time after being released by Tehran. Stay with us. Welcome back to the News Hour live from London. Let's for the moment just look away from the conflict in Ukraine. In China, a passenger plane belonging to China Eastern Airlines has crashed near the city of Wuju in the southwest of the country. Let's have a look at what's been happening on social media. Here's Daniel Padwick. Boeing 737 is trending. That's the latest trends on our social media segment. We'll be back with more on the next news hour. A few years in the doldrums, but Ferrari are back. Here's Samantha Johnson with the sport. Yes, so we knew it was going to be a good one. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc has claimed the opening race of the new. That's the news hour. Thanks very much for your company. We'll be back with more at the top of the hour. Bye bye.